Hello again to another episode of Operation Slipper. I'm Adam, a.k.a. Watchtower, with a dash in between. And with me today, we've also got... Matt, a.k.a. O-Rubber Ducky. And today we're going to be bringing you some information about the Medal of Honor Warfighter. Now, I know there's a lot of videos out there about this right now. There is. There is. There's, there's ridiculous amounts, because there's a lot of anticipation for this. There is. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to say it, but it could be the killer of Call of Duty. I know. Give some hate mail for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Incoming so, hate mail. Yeah, accepted. Um, so today we're going to be briefly talking about some of the classes, not briefly, probably extensively. Um, and then we're going to talk to you about where you can pre-order the game and... That's about it. Oh, in Australia, I mean, not in America. I have no idea. Sorry, look it up on the net. Okay, so uh, so today, let's uh, let's kick off. So I'm going to talk to you about the first class on us. It is Point Man. Now, Point Man is a specialised class, light armour class, runs around. He has the ability to use a unique clip of rounds which provide a double damage scenario when used upon the enemy, a.k.a. armor-piercing rounds. Nice. Now, everyone loves armor-piercing rounds, so I do as well. <laughs> the world rejoices. Exactly. Uh, the problem with this ability, I've seen in a lot of videos, is it's only one clip of round, uh, so one thirty magazine. And after that, you have to reuse the normal bullets, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Nice. All right, so technically double damage. That's all you need to know. So, uh, the grenade type that the point man gets is a flashbang. Obviously, you know what flashbangs are. Any FPS people, I'll just, uh, yeah, flashbang. So flashbang, <laughs> this is what I've read about it. <laughs> flashbang is a flashbang which blinds an incoming enemy for a few seconds, which allows the point man to reload. That's what I'll be doing, and that's why I said it. If I use a flashbang on you, don't get upset. You're not going to die because I'll be reloading and running my ass away. <laughs> so that's that one. Let's talk about the so support actions. Okay, they've got the RQ-11 Raven. Uh, that's a UAV uh, unmanned drone, obviously. We throw up into the air and you'll see a lot of things in the smoke screen. Second off is the air burst mortar. Haven't really seen that in a lot of videos. So yeah, it's I, cool, but... It sounds very cool. And it sounds like maybe it explodes mid-air. Take it as it is. I don't know. Yeah. Fire team replenishment. Obviously, get re-ammo and uh, health back. The third one, which I'm most anticipated for, is the MH61 Little Bird. <laughs> and then they have the RQ7 Shadow, which is another UAV. And for their fourth and final kill streak, it is a Apache Helicopter Pilot, which is offensive and defensive use. Nice. So that's, uh, yeah, a lot of hate mail about it, apparently. The videos that I've been seeing, I've seen people use it. It doesn't look overpowered at all. You're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Unlucky. Yeah, unlucky. So let's talk about the nations that you can unlock while using the point man. So you unlock the point man at level five, apparently, which you get the SOG, which is the Swedish. Then you unlock the Australian SASR at rank 11, the Gruber Alf, which is the German, no, sorry, is the Russian group, sorry about that, that's at rank 17, the FSKHJK23, that is the Norwegians, you've got the Grom, which is the Polish, 
at level 29, the SEAL team, obviously American, 35, the SAS, the originals, and I'm pretty sure still the best, but, you know, I'm Australian, so, you know, SAS are for life. Uh, at uh, 41, the German KSK at 47, the OGA, which is the government organisations under the, yeah, all of those, NCIS, you know, whatever, you know, CIA, FBI. That's pretty cool. All those guys at level 53. The Canucks, or Canadians, at 58, sorry, is the JTF2 unit. The SFODD, which is the 64, which you can also pre-order the game from EBs, and you'll get to unlock them, the point men, uh, at rank 1. So obviously that's the benefit of using that. And the UDT, which is the South Koreans, which is in a branch with the SEALs. So technically them and the SEALs are pretty hardcore boys. That's at 7. I'll hand me uh, over to my co-host, which has the next class for you. Alright, guys, I've got the Assaulter, which is the ability to use a grenade launcher on YouTube for your fans out there. Grenade type, frag, which is so far the normalest grenade I've seen so far in these classes. Yep, yep. Uh, there's also uh, Special Ops who uses that. So. Oh, nice, that's another so, group. Yep, so the frag is a... Uh, it's uh, and it's an explosion the outer case shatters and releases a 700 gram explosive detonation nice you're welcome <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much the support action is um, a 60 millimeter mortar nice. and smoke screen so it looks like so far two of them that we've read out so far have got smoke screen yep the next thing they've got is a guided missile and fire team replenishment. Excellent. They've got cluster, cluster bomb. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. See how that rolls around. Yep, and RQ7 Shadow. Oh, yeah. No one's got an RQ7 Shadow. A lot of the uh, defensive moves I've found uh, after researching, they all have smoke screen, they all have replenishment, and they all have the shadow. Yep. So... It's in different orders some, for some of them, but most of them have it in their rotation. Yep, and the next one, Apache Pilot. Offense and defense. Obviously. Obviously, and pretty much for the countries that you get the players, which is the G-R-O-M, unlocks at 7. Yep, the Groms. The Groms. Which is the Polch. The, the Seals, S-E-A-L-S, at 13. S-A-S. At 19, KSK, 25, the OGA at 31, the JTF2 at 37, the S4D, if that's how I pronounced it right, yep. at 43, UDT at 49, SASR for the win, 56, <laughs> O or S O G at level sixty S S K H or dash H J K at sixty six Alpha Group at seventy two. So the seventy two, so that means the Russian is the final unlock for the assaulter. Yeah. Interesting. I thought they would have been up the top. But yeah, me too. Me too. But then maybe a lot of Russians like to play that, so yeah. you know, take it as it is. Yeah. Well, that's All right. it for the assaulter. So let's let's hit on to a uh, another class, the demolition class. The demolition specialization in Warfighter is the ability to use an IED bomb suit slash hurt locker suit from the movie. And the official name of it is called Tank Stance. Now everyone's seen it. Obviously you've seen it in the movies, IED bomb suit, so you're pretty much strapped with armor. That's what I was trying to work out with that too, would be, would that slow you down? Well, nice question. When you put down the helmet, which is the blast shield, you actually increase your armor by 100, 
<laughs> but you you are like the slowest person on earth, technically. <laughs> so choose wisely whenever using this. That's what they've said anyway. Moving on, the grenade type is a remote charge. The remote charge is a standard C4 in Warfighter. It can be deployed in, deple in, a, uh, in a position and then detonated from a safe distance. AKA C4 from yeah. every other game. That's how it is. <laughs> they can pretty much just throw C4 down and stand the middle and go, <laughs> Pretty much. If they've got the bomb shield down, yeah. go for it. So, um, the support actions, the M32 or M32 and smoke screen. The M32 is a um, rocket launcher. Um, how is it best described? A rocket launcher? <laughs> it's similar to it's similar to yes the assault it's very similar to the assault one yeah. but you get actually every single round is an explosive explosive uh, round in it a lot of people said that's overpowered but the guy's called you know demolitions so <laughs> what do you expect him to have uh, the second one is the SMA W, which everyone knows from Battlefield as the Death Crayon from <laughs> the Americans. The fire team, re fire team Replenishment. The next one is the Moser Robot, the M-U-S-A Robot. I've seen that in a few of the film clips. It looks really cool. Yeah, how, how cool does it look? It looks similar to the Engineers one in Battlefield 3, but just a lot more... Beefed up. Beefed up. <laughs> it's beefed up and it's got cannons on it. Yeah. So take that as it is. A lot of people call it the Wally robot, the same as Battlefield. Yeah. The RQ7 Shadow, as again, you know, and has said that there's a lot of the exact same for the defense, which is true. And then their fourth and final one is the Apache Helicopter Pilot. Now, these all could change, speculated to the beta, so, or beta as I like to call it. <laughs> the nations that you unlocked by using this, or the progression for it, is the Group Alpha, or Alpha Group. The Germans? No. It's the Russians. Why Russians. do I keep on calling them Germans? I don't know. A lot of people do get Group Alpha. Group <laughs> Alpha. I automatically think German, not Russian. <laughs> and I put on the German accent. See? That's the wrong thing. That unlocks at six. The Norwegians look at 12. The Grom, which is a Polish, they get unlocked at 18. The Seals at 24. The SAS at 30. The Germans, sorry German viewers, the KSK, that is at 36. The OGA, which is the American government organization, 42. The Canucks or Canadians at 48. The other Special Forces unit, which is the original Special Forces unit, I've been led to believe at 54. The South Koreans at 59. The SASR, which is the Aussie Boys, yeah. at 65. And the Swedes at 71. Nice. So they're pretty much all over the place. Like, of well, they are. They're levels. Yeah, they're they're not like there's not. Oh, everyone's at seventy one or seventy. I've seen a lot like that are at sixty eight, sixty seven, six seventy, seventy one. I don't know what's going on there, people. This is the information that I've been getting. So <laughs> let's see how accurate it is. Uh, hey, let's just be totally honest. It's going to be accurate. I did the research. <laughs> That's true. Like, <laughs> doubt the host. Yeah. Okay, you can doubt me a lot. I'm not, very, I'm not up with it. So, uh, our next class, Matt has the stuff for it. Go ahead. Sniper. Well, I'm looking forward to playing. Everybody is. Yeah, it should be good. Until I found out, like, recently, even more so. The ability is to drop a bipod, or, like, Battlefield bipod. Yep, recon stance. Recon stance. Yep. The only thing is with this class, they don't really have a grenade. What I've read up so far, proximity mine looks like to be the, their grenade type. Yep. So you put it down, 
you hide, hide, don't hide near it, but hide around near it, so if anyone comes to try to get you, it goes off and kills them. Yep. And pretty much it sends straight into their support action. They get a switchblade, which very is interesting. <laughs> very interesting. The switch sh- yeah, the switchblade is a uh, mortar device, so you'll be, boom, put it in, yep. it'll fire up into the air, you can actually fly around with it a little bit, and then go for your target. Pretty cool. Yep. They get their smoke screen, like everyone has so far. The AED-1MM mortar. Nice. Fire team replenishment. Obviously. Rocket ability. Rocket. Oh, yeah, artillery. Artillery, artillery. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. The RQ-7 shadow, again. Yep. The Apache pilot. Hmm. Looks like everyone gets the Apache. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. In the which is kind of good in a way, like evens it up so not just one class will get it yeah, that's and right. own up with it, which is really good yeah, to see. Exactly. And pretty much in nations, you can unlock at levels. You've got the UDT at rank 4, the S4D at rank 10, SOG at level 16, SASR for the win, 22, Alpha Group, 28, Grom, Level 40, the SEALs, they get um, at 46, but if you pre-order from JB Hi-Fi, you get it at rank 1. Excellent, thank you, that's cool. SAS unlocks at 52, KSK 57, sorry again, OGA 63, and the JTFT 2 at 69. Okay. Yeah, see, so that's another, that's a different rank as well. Yeah. See? So, you know, how we do it. All right, so let's move on to the Heavy Gunner now. The Heavy Gunner, specialization in Warfighter, has the ability to use a bipod. Wow, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Which increases the suppression of any individual in the gunfire. Um... Another benefit of being a heavy gunner is when you deploy the bipod, you actually get infinity ammo. <laughs> Take it as it is. That's the class I'll be playing. Because <laughs> I chew for ammo like no tomorrow. Uh, a lot of people are saying that this could be a overused class because of the infinite ammo. Uh, what we forgot to tell you at the start of the show is... Everybody gets infinity ammo on their handgun. Nice. So, you know, take that as it is. Infinity ammo. Um, let's go to the grenade type for the heavy gunner. It's mini frags. Best description for a mini frag is instead of just throwing one frag like the assaulter or the special ops, this guy's a heavy dude, so he's got bigger hands. He can hold two more explosive detonations in his hand and he lobs them at a point. Fireworks, people. Fireworks. Nice. Um, it seems to be uh, a lot useful, the mini frags, in a close quarter combat. So in a building, throw them. They're going to hit roofs, buildings, everything. So that's theirs. Uh, support actions or kill streaks. They've got the Blackhawk transport and smoke screen for the first one. Nice. You can actually spawn off this transport. So it could be a good beneficial... Thing, kill streak. Um, so, you know, take it as it is. The MK19 and fire team replenishment. The MK19 is a portable grenade launcher. So you actually have to put it down. This <laughs> is similar to. Mortar. Mortar. Perfect. Mortar for Battlefield 3. Yep. Um, fire team replenishment. That's for ammo and getting health back, as I said before. Then the third perk or kill streak or support action is the MH60L DAP Blackhawk. <laughs> this thing has actual guns on it and from the things that I've seen you get shot out every single time that you spawn this Blackhawk. I don't know what it is, it's just a bullet magnet obviously. Obviously it's a Blackhawk so it's going to take up half the map anyway. <laughs> uh, the RQ7 Shadow, as again, UAV support. Final, and lastly, is the Apache Helicopter Pilot. As Matt said, it gets used every single time, so take it as is. You're welcome. 
the nation's progression unlock is the Germans first at level 3, the British SAS at 8, the Canadians at 14, the SEALs at 20, UDT, which is the South Koreans at 26, the original Special Forces unit apparently, and best out of America, the SFODD at 32, the SOG, which is the Swedes at 38, SASR, which Matt absolutely loves, at 43, Alpha Group, Russians, got it right that time, 50, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I get that wrong. The Norwegians, 55. The Grom unit, which is the Polish unit, 61. The OGA, which is the American government. I don't know why I keep on saying that, but it is at 67. Love it, Callum. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Final class, which is the sixth one is Special Ops. I left it for last because I want to have a rant. <laughs> well, we all know you love W Raid. Yep, and I'm going to have a rant because this class is way overpowered, firstly. Secondly, their ability is way overused and it has no cooldown whatsoever. And their, their thing is called Special Ops Vision. How it's described is a veteran Special Operations Operator would have battle awareness, so that's using their peripherals, their knowledge of other battles, blah, blah, blah. Technically, in a game form, it means x-ray vision. <laughs> now, I know that you're automatically thinking, Jesus, this is going to be overpowered. Let's be totally honest. You're correct. It is overpowered. Every video that I've been seeing on Xbox, this power is ridiculously great. You can see through walls with it. You can see where the opposition will spawn next. So take it as it is on that. It seems very overpowered. And hopefully EA and Danger Close looks at it and maybe reduces the time or reload time of the ability. Yeah. Because it sounds overpowered to me. What's your thoughts? I think it is too, actually. It will get nerfed pretty soon. So a lot of people will just go that class for that sake. Yes, correct. All the time. Yeah. So pretty much no one will have... Oh, like, yeah, you still have your chances to win, but... If, you ever, if everyone goes that in a match and you two are working together trying to win and they've all got battle awareness, <laughs> pretty much you're gone. Yeah, exactly. No chance. The, um, the way how I'd use this in a Battlefield 3 reference, M26 start. Let's just say that. <laughs> the God Gun. The God Gun. Everyone used it. It's ridiculously overpowered. You got killed and you'd lose matches because you weren't using it. So hopefully they find out a way to manipulate the ability, maybe make it shorter range or even just increase the time, as I said. Yeah. That's my rant. Let's get it over and done with. I won't be playing Special Forces, so who cares? The grenade type is a frag, as, as we said in the last videos. Uh, when a frag explodes, the outer casing shatters, releases a 700 gram explosive detonation onto your target. Boom. Fireworks. Red mist. <laughs> um, let's move on to their support actions. They have the 120 millimeter dragon fire and fire team replenishment as their first one. This sounds like an absolutely awesome, awesome mortar. It sounds like it even might have the ability to lay down, um, how, how, what was it, what's it called? What's it called in that map? Oh, ma napalm. Lampard. Napalm. So when you fire it, it leads to like maybe a sizzling patch of burning death. Nice. Uh, their second support action is the A-10 Warthog and RQ Shadow. The Warthog sounds cool, that's anything that's about that class. Let's be totally honest, sounds awesome. <laughs> sounds absolutely awesome. Okay, the third one is Radar Jammer and Smoke Screen. Now everyone's Radar whinging jammer. about this. Really? Everyone's having a whinge about this because one, they both sound like defensive moves. 
instead of an offensive and defensive. Myself, personally, you take somebody's radar off them, that's a big disadvantage, but massive advantage for yourself. So, I'm pretty sure that's an offensive move. Smoke screen, obviously, deploys uh, thick smoke around the thing. The last one is Apache Helicopter Pilot, as I said before, gets repeated. Maybe because it's um, due to the beta, but, you know, let's see how we go. The Special Ops class unlocks at level 3 with the Canadians, then gets the second one, which is the OGA, the American government, at 9, the South Koreans at level 15, the Special Forces, the little, the Special Forces unit, the Delta Force, 21, the Swedes at 27, the Australian SASR, Matt's favourite, the way. Matt's favourite for 33, <laughs> the uh, Grupa Alpha, or Alpha Group, Russians, <laughs> 39, the uh, Combined Forces of the Norwegians at 45, the Grom Unit, at 51, which is the Polish, sorry, the SAS, which is the Brits, at 62, and last but not least, the Germans, at 68. Okay, so that's the last of it. Uh, personal thoughts about the game, Matt? Um, just hoping for the best of it, really. Love the Medal of Honor series. I'm just hoping for this one to be better than the last. And yeah, to me too. Me just too. help out with having two games to play, like Battlefield or Medal of Honor, not just Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> I got ya, I got ya, I feel ya. After the uh, Medal of Honor 2010 version, yeah. the multiplayer was lacking. <sighs> yeah, the story was good, but the multiplayer a bit... I don't know, I just... I enjoyed it, but it felt too stiff. Yeah. So like the guy didn't have like he had like a spinal pad on him like all the time. He couldn't move his body properly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stick. I'm the exact same. All right, let's move on to pre-orders where you can get your pre-orders on in Australia. Woo! Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> all right, so pre-orders. Here we go. Uh, let's firstly talk about JD Hi-Fi's edition. Actually, no. Let's start off with. Electronics Boutique EB games. Uh, they have two editions, obviously, same as everybody else that you can pre-order from. Um, the first edition is just the uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition. It is $98 for this one. You get a couple of scope unlocks. You get the... Uh, the... US SFOD D Point Man, as we said in the Point Man review, yep. um, you get that unlocked straight away if you pre order for them. So, take that as it is. Uh, you also get a cool t shirt, Middle of Honor Warfighter t shirt. Nice. Um, and you get the access to the Battlefield 4 beta whenever that comes out. Looking forward to it. Mm. Uh, the second edition which is the Medal of Honor Warfighter Collector's Edition, exclusive to EB games, is $118. You get pretty much everything that the limited edition copy gets, but you get a case, like a metal case. Ooh, I, don't know how, I don't know how big this case is. It looks pretty yeah, big. I reckon it'll probably be about the size of the game. I think it's a bit bigger. It's not a metal case, but it's like a, a, an actual case. So maybe okay. it's got the shirt and the game in there, so you oh, can see how big yep. that would be. Yeah. Uh, so take that as it is. A bit expensive, but, you know, it's up to you. Uh, moving along to where me and uh, Matt got our pre-orders on. JB Hi-Fi. Yeah. New Harbour. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got ours. There is two editions from the guys at JB Hi-Fi. The first edition is the limited edition Warfighter one, the exact same as the um, 
one from EB's, but instead of the uh, original and best Special Forces from America, you get the SEAL Team Sniper T1 unit automatically unlocked at T1. Yep. You also get some optics for the gun, and you get a pattern. All at the low price of $89, so that's the limited edition version. They also have the Global Warfighter Edition, which includes a limited edition game and content, so pretty much the exact same what you get from the limited edition. You also get a, uh, a bag, a branded satchel. Um, I think it's like a khaki bag. Man. <laughs> a man purse. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. And you also get the optics. So... That, oh, and, sorry, price, $119. Or, for PC, $109, and the limited edition version, $79. So, a bit cheaper if you're playing on PC, but better graphics. Hmm. Take it as it is. Uh, so, yeah, that's, a, that's all our thoughts, and have a nice day. I'm Adam, a.k.a. Watchtower with a dash in the middle. I'm Matt, a.k.a. O. Robert Ducky. And this has been Operation Slipper. Hopefully you enjoy, and please subscribe. Please comment, or send us an email. See you later, guys. Catch you later.